at the MAB seminars here in Traverse City this year, the big topic, of course, is the future of the automobile. No one has a great answer, but everyone has some pretty interesting an answers. Nissan brought their future lab uh, to show this year. It's, it's quite an interesting little vehicle. It's great about urban mobility. It's, it, it talks really about uh, the future of some of the composites that are going to have to be used in some of the future cars and the light weighting. Light weighting was certainly a big issue. How to make uh, cars lighter and stronger in the future. And uh, we heard several people talk about that big issue. In your presentation today, you, you said that it's a, uh, the future of light weighting really involves uh, collaboration with other materials. Is that correct? Yeah, I think uh, steel is going to be the predominant leader in it, but there are certain applications where aluminum or magnesium may make sense. It's really depending on what the functional objectives are for the component or for the vehicle. And that's where we try to work with our customers very close with them to understand what they're trying to do. I'm not going to try to sell steel if it doesn't make sense for that application. But where it does make sense, the underbodies, the Gen 3 980 steels that are coated, are going to be ideal solutions for those things. So that's what we're going to be focusing our efforts on. We've been supplying the aluminum industry, in particular Novellus, have been supplying this industry for 40 years. And our intention is to continue to collaborate very closely, not only with the manufacturer, but the uh, um, adjacent technologies, joining technologies, uh, forming technologies, different machine shops, different concerns through the whole industry to make sure that we have a product that can work in a manufacturing in a robust way. Ford has really uh, done quite a bit to promote uh, aluminum and light weighting this year. What impact has that had on uh, you selling aluminum? It's been ex it's been an exciting year for the for Novellus. Um, again, this is a 40-year dream and coming. Uh, we've been working with Ford, we've been working with Jag Jaguar Land Rover, a lot of other uh, products that have been aluminum intensive have been using our products, but never to this scale. The F-150 and now the Super Duty rolling out uh, this summer is going to has brought this to a whole new scale. The F-150 is the most popular selling vehicle in North America by a long shot, um, and, and we're a successful supplier to that. And now with the Super Duty, it's the second largest aluminum intensive vehicle launch in the history of the world. And so we're thrilled to be part of that as well. And when you have that kind of success, and Ford has that kind of success, other consumers and customers take note. And we're having very uh, positive conversations with a variety of different folks about how we can continue to support the adoption of aluminum in a variety of different applications. So the final one has come as the 2016 the winners. And it is the GM Pedidex CT6. And everybody can uh, just take a look at uh, this vehicle here, Beauty 40 done, and it's, Beauty 40, uh, it's a beautiful product. It's really a team effort. It's getting all the supply base, getting all the CAE analysts, getting everyone working together to really develop this world-class car um, and, and really work to be the, at the forefront of developing a car with a mixed material. We've been able to get this car that's about 222 millimeters longer than the CTS to have about 100 kilogram lower mass body and weight. So we really worked aggressively on every little element of the design of this car from body and weight to get mixed material to every other element of the car to get the mass down to be as low as possible. And with that though, the customer is really going to win. Well, it looks like a glorified golf cart, I know, but this may very well be what you'll be riding in 10 years from now. Who knows?